Time for the Habs fans hangout for game number 73, Carolina at Montreal. Hey, everybody, I'm Rick. Welcome to Talk at Habs. We get your day fix of Blue Blanc Rouge. We got the Hurricanes. I don't like the Hurricanes very much, so. Um, it's going to be a tough game for Montreal tonight. Uh, Caden Gooley gets a one-game suspension for kind of a stupid slash to Travis connect me when uh, Gooley was on the bench. So you got a one game suspension. That'll happen tonight. Um, that's going to put Montreal really in tough defensively. Uh, also, a little, maybe on offense, because Gooley had uh, five points in. I have it here. Um, I had it here. I think he had has uh, five points in the, oh, here it is, in the three game last three games. So uh, he was doing well, obviously. He was a plus six in those three games and, and averaging 23 minutes a game. So he's going to be missed. Um, I don't know who's going to take up totally his ice time, but uh, uh, Kovacevic is on uh, the lineups that I saw. <laughs> Kovacevic was playing with Matheson. We'll see what it, that is in the game. So I've got the game on City TV tonight, so I will not be running behind. Maybe do some play-by-play. -play. Definitely do color commentary here. Talk to you guys in the chat, and we'll have a lot of fun. Um, and uh, maybe Montreal gets their fourth straight, their three-game winning streak, and this would be their fourth straight. But they're going to be in, uh, really in tough here uh, tonight. Carolina is not a team that, like, you know, their record is great, but they're on a sort of a bad streak right now. It's not like that. So we'll see what happens. If Gooley was in the lineup, I would say that I would probably have this game going to Montreal in overtime and just trying to be optimistic. But I'd give them a chance. I don't know that I do that here. But every time I write them off for a game, they come out with a fantastic game. And maybe that's what will happen. I don't know. We'll see. Um, Carolina's beaten us twice this season. So if they win tonight, it's a sweep. And if Montreal wins, they avoid the sweep. We'll see. All right, let's see who's here. Guru uh, got back to the first comment. Hey, Guru. Hey, who's who? Welcome in, you guys. Gislain. Hey, Gislain. Good to see you. Uh, Gislain wants to give his predictions. He knows it's late, but it's 8-2 for Carolina, and he's giving KK. But didn't you get your – you got a guess in, in the – didn't you? Maybe I'm wrong. Hey, Andre. Um, he, his prediction is the game will start. Then there will be a first, second, and third period, and then it will end. Um, you know, you left yourself open to being maybe possibly wrong. Could go to overtime. Ha! Or like Nelson uh, from The Simpsons. Ah! There we go. So, uh, listen, if you're here, uh, say hi. Let's see what we got. One, two, three, four. Four people making comments. There says five people in the chat. <laughs> Who is that fifth person? Say hi. No, but if you're here, say hi. And uh, we got about, uh, I don't know. There's No, there's some kind of a ceremony tonight. So we might have a little bit later start and uh, might be like 15 after 7. 20 after 7. I don't know how long the ceremony will be. It is the first. Uh, or let me give it the right name. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's the first People's Celebration Night. It's an indigenous celebration of culture and richness and culture. So in celebration of our indigenous person, Harry Rice. Uh, I say it like, a, <laughs> that's not, I don't know if that's right, but Harry Rice is indigenous and we celebrate along with him um tonight as as you know um as as his peoples were kind enough to uh, let uh, our ancestors come in here and just murder them and uh, and take over the country so we appreciate that that is what happened and they deserve um, any celebrations of their culture that we give them more like we don't do enough all right um, and on that, please give a thumbs up, as Andre's asking. And like I said, if you're here, please say hi. And let me know you're here. And we can go from there. 
Um, without having to give a guess, like because you can't give an official guess now anyway for the guess the score contest. What do you guys think for the game tonight? Who wins without a score? Everybody in the chat, who wins? Who you got? Straight up for the winner. I'm going to wait and see uh, what answers I get. While that, while I do that, I'm going to partake. They're showing uh, there's Marty in his uh, Tampa Bay Lightning uniform. I imagine these two uh, coaches, uh, Rod Brindamore and Marty St. Louis, played against each other many a time. It would be great to see the Habs win, but they're in tough tonight. Well, the biggest reason for me is Caden Gooley being under suspension for one game and not in the lineup, and I think that's going to affect him a lot. But I hope I'm wrong. I hope Kovacevic steps up, which isn't out of the question. My lighter is dying. I think I got one more left. I do. All right, anyways, if you're here, uh, talk to me. I'll talk to you then. Oh, I don't know why I didn't uh, right away. Um, here, let me go over here. It is a big happy birthday to the big boy. Your eye, Slavkovsky, turns 20. Today, he's no longer a teenager. So, your eye, Slavkovsky, 20 today. Let's see if we can pick up a number of points on his birthday. That would be awesome. So, we've got that. Um, he also is in the midst of a 23 points in 25 games and on a nine game scoring streak. So we'll see if we can extend that. Um, and this game, uh, Nick Suzuki is uh, 27 points in 25 games. He also has 69 points in 72 games, which is uh, quite close to a point a game. In my uh, preview earlier today, I had it 70 points, yeah, but it's 69. Uh, Canes are 9-2-1 and one since the trade deadline. And Jake Gensel is pretty hot. He's got, in the 10 games he's played, he's got 14 points. So he'll be hot tonight. And his line mates, Aho, who I like to call Asshole, and Jarvis have uh, 8 goals and 9 goals, respectively, in that time. Mike Matheson doing well. Three assists last game, 51 points on the season. Last 51-point defenseman was P.K. Subban in the 2015-16 season, and he had 51 points in 68 games. Matheson, I don't know how many games, honestly, that is. Uh, we've played uh, 72, but I don't know if he played all 72, so it's a very similar record. Hey, Phil. Well, they're going to have to play 60 solid minutes to beat these guys. I mean, let's, especially without Gooley. That's, that's really going to hurt. Gooley's been playing not only well offensively, as I just said, but, I mean, you know, he's he's solid defensively. His stick gets in the way of so many things. He knocks bucks away. We're going to miss him out there tonight. Well, yeah, we're going to miss him. So is the team. Oh, look, they're showing a couple of girls that could kick our asses. What is that? Uh, MMC? UFC. All right, nobody else talking to me? Going to be another, well, I guess because of, uh, two people just left. Yeah, because of Easter weekend, I guess a lot of people with family and shit tonight, so. Probably uh, probably be low numbers again uh, tonight. Okay, Matt. I got a game right here, Matt. I 
I'm sure Harris will play well. I just don't think he's going to replace Gouli. Let's, like I said, if someone steps up, different story. Uh, I hope for that. We'll see. We still have our Mia. Habs wild card out of the pocket. Well, he could have a good game. I mean, we could see Mario Armia tonight, maybe. You never know. I didn't see Savard get speared in the jewels there, Huzu. I'm sorry. And yeah, they reviewed Gooley slash. Why? It wasn't much of a slash. He was on the bench. I mean, if you can't understand that that is a problem, sorry, he only got one game. You got to give in on that, you know? And I didn't see Savard get speared, to be honest with you. So, and they, I didn't see them say anything about it on the in the game. Habs go six and four next 10, finish ninth in the standings. I don't see how they go six and four, to be honest. I don't see it. Uh, maybe it depends on the weather for Armia. Maybe it depends on... Depends. I don't know. I mean, the adult diaper. Well, I imagine... Yeah, she must be indigenous. She looks like it. I don't know if that... Is that really... A, that might be an insult, making an indigenous singer come up and sing O Canada. Really? Anyways, maybe they, if they don't think so, then I don't think so. But I don't know, it strikes me as odd. Hey there, Rocky. Who got it in the butt? You talking about? Are you talking about the ref that it was a college game? Puck went off his ass and into the net. Like, who got what in the butt? Butt cheeks. Savard, Savard, yes, Savard. That makes more sense. I don't think he got speared because I would have heard other people talking about it. Hey there, Phil. We got two Phils. My two fills. Uh, well, Phil, you should know that his career could have been on the line. So at least he's playing well again. He's working with a sports psychologist. So that might help. Oh, she was singing the American. I didn't, didn't even. I can't hear very well, so it's low. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Hope you can. Last game, Savard got split in the butt cheeks. Yeah, I didn't see that. So that's what happened, and it wasn't a. It, well, it wasn't being speared. We got to tone down the. Uh, the missed calls that are, you know, so that they're actually miss, missed calls and not kind of, you know, you didn't see it right or whatever. I don't like the refs, but I'm not going to make up stuff. She did a good job, from what I heard. All right. They're about, I think, I don't know if they're doing, I mean, they're on the ice, so I didn't. I guess they didn't do this big ceremony. I don't know. They said uh, uh, it's First Peoples Celebration Night, celebrating the richness and culture of Indigenous peoples. I guess I assumed there was going to be some sort of a ceremony, but I think maybe the NHL blocked that stuff from happening, so that's probably why. The NHL are stupid idiots. I don't know if Buffalo, we have a hard schedule, Aiken. I don't know.
So we've got Monty in net tonight. He always takes the harder of the, uh, mostly takes the hardest games. Sean Slaff, the birthday boy, the captain with his 30 goals, playing amazing since the uh, since the All-Star break, you know. It's like, uh, and someone, I saw, I read this, uh, but it is like he, um, he was in the room with all those great players and realized he's as good as them or in that, you know, he's in that category. And he's been playing like it. We'll see how he does tonight. We're underway. So I got to watch it on there, as you can see the light from there. Got an offside call against Carolina. Just 22 seconds in. We'll, we'll see what kind of game we get against this team. I, I, I You know Carolina's going to... They're going to be tricky all night. So how do we step up here? First line is going to be very important in my opinion. And it does look like it's uh, Matheson and Kovacevic out there. What? We got an icing call now. Six seconds later. So we're 28 seconds in, two whistles already. Hey there, David. I don't mind being called Rock. <laughs> rock, Rock Seligman. Yeah. Isn't the Jewish rock gold? What happened there? Matheson just scored, and that is the weirdest goal I've ever seen in my life. If they don't even know it's a goal? Come on, he scored there. Play goes on. I thought that was a goal. Apparently not. Off of a skate right into the net. That's what it looked like. A pass that hit a skate. I don't, I don't know. Did I dream that? Like, what happened there? They got to look at that when the play stops because I think that was a goal. And then Carolina almost scores here. Uh, Newhook dumps it in, goes to changing up. To change up. We're like two minutes in. Man, I want to see that again. Did you guys see that? What was that? Of course, there's no stoppage in play after that, right? It's going to go probably to the end of the period. And there we get a stop. For what? No, it's not offside. Show that again. Come on. Oh, it hit the post and bounced right out. That so looked like that was a goal. Son of a bitch, that was close. We're three minutes in here now. There's a little pressure here by Carolina. Montreal gets the puck. Can't get it out, though. 
don't know who that is behind the net. But that's Carolina up to the point. Shot wide or off of somebody. In the other corner up to the half wall, Carolina centers it. Montreal Jack Eye picks that up, clears it out. And just a nice little soft pass up to the blue line. All right, now who's got it there? I can't tell. Evans? Evans loses it there. Uh, it comes out. And Carolina sends it in. The goals change up. It was right on. Monty stops it, gives it off to, uh, that's Harris. Harris tries to give it up. Stretch pass to the blue line. Anyway, Suzuki ends up with it. Gets it over to Caulfield. There was a shot. I think it was wide. Right now, it is along the boards at the half wall. Came out to uh, the point. Uh, that was Matheson to Suzuki. To somebody. To <laughs> I don't know. I lost. I haven't done play-by-play -play in forever. Uh, Carolina would have shot. Save Monty there? Montreal gets the puck out pretty quick here. Caulfield gives it to Slaff over the blue line. Shot. Uh, uh, pad save. And then Slaff goes crashing in. What happened there? Slaff just crashes right into the net. He seems okay because he's not still in the net. High shot off the stick, I think, of uh, from Caulfield. Uh, he just slides. He falls on his ass and slides in. Nothing. No big deal. Well, we're almost five minutes in. 4-26, uh, actually, into the first. Shots are 2-1 to one for Carolina. No score. Faceoff is to the, uh, to the left of uh, Monty. Off the draw, quick shot, and Monty, ma Monty makes the save. Glove save, we'll have another face-off. Oh, who was that? Oh, Alex Newhook with a, um, a sort of break breakaway. He was in sort of alone. I don't know what happened with his shot. If it went like over or off the goalie and over, we're going to show it now. Off the defender stick and out. It was a preliminary score by Slav. Just warming up the net. <laughs> it doesn't count when I'm in. No? Oh, okay. Good work by Newhook there. Kovacevic shot was a floater. Almost went like towards the net off a stick. Canes get it out. Monty would have saved. The rebound of the guy just overskated it. Here come the Canes again. Good defensive stick there by Armia. Struble pops it up into the, uh, flips it out to center. Ice. And I don't know what's going on there. Anyways, Monty would have saved. He hangs on. We'll have a face off. So, I mean, so far, a little excitement there on what looked like a goal by Matheson that was very goddamn close, but was not a goal. And now we are five and a half minutes in here. Shots are four to one, Carolina now. No score yet. Um, Carolina, I mean, getting a little bit more zone time. So you can see that. They look a little bit more polished. But Puck's not really bouncing completely to their liking, I think. KK's out on the ice. 
Jack I shot almost got through, went off a skate and wide. In the corner. Oh, come on. That should have been there should have been a call there. The first hit on Harvey Pinard. That should have been a call. That should have been boarding, in my opinion. Hey Charles, welcome in. Charles, all the way from Nassau, Bahamas. Good to see you there, buddy. Always seems when you're coming in, I'm lighting up. What is that? Is something to do with being in the Caribbean? Seven minutes in. Shots are five to two now. No score. Back in Montreal's end, though. Behind the net. Eh, has to pick that up. Harris with it. He's going to skate it up to the line and then pass it to Andy. He loses it, gets knocked back in. Harris picks that up. He saw a hole and he went for it. That's what she said. He's over to their blue line. He just around the boards, behind the net. Bullen is there, kicks it out to the other side. He's got it. Uh, spins and fires it behind the net. Uh, Evans. He's at the half wall. Backward pass around the boards. And he sends it back the other way. Evans picks that up. Sanders it slap. Oh, he just couldn't control that pass. And the uh, Hurricanes flip it out to center ice. It's in the corner. Uh, Harris along the boards. Oh, I don't. I don't know who got that to. The, got it to the side of the net. Uh, Carolina player picked it up, centered it, and somebody whiffed on the one timer. Where's the puck? Uh, Matheson up along the boards to. I don't know who, but his pass went off a stick. Carolina sends it back all the way. Struble with it behind his net. Gives it off to Slap, back to Struble. Uh, Struble to the other side to his partner. I don't know who that is for some reason. Struble fires it in. Stopped there at the corner by uh, Carolina, and they send it all the way down. That won't be or will be icing. No? Icing. Just a coincidence, eh? <laughs> No worries, Charles. Thanks for thanks for being in here. We always we always enjoy when you're here. How could you not be great? You're in paradise, man. Hey. Eh? Sorry, I gotta prep my new lighter. Gotta take the child protection thing off of it, or else it's ridiculous. Got a commercial break here. Um, so far, so good though. Uh, for Montreal, almost scored. Um, I wouldn't say they're totally holding uh, Carolina back, but so far, so good. We'll see if that can last. <laughs> That's the problem with Carolina, anyways. They're just they just never give up, and they always seem to have success against Montreal. At least the last eight games, because Montreal hasn't beaten them in eight. Going back to sometime in 2021. Seventy-four Fahrenheit in uh, Nassau. Seventy-four would be, if I'm correct, in Celsius. Twenty-three or twenty-four Celsius. Twenty-three, I think. Uh, expected low of sixty-three degrees, which is still nice. Love a sixty-three degree day right now. We're not that far from it here and there, <laughs> but no, nah, weather here, it's nothing to complain about. Looking forward to the warm weather, though. Not the crazy warm weather, but spring now. Spring is when the weather is probably the best until, you know, until we get the heat. Funny, they're putting up the list for his record that he just set. 
I saw um, a list where it had somebody at 40, and I can't remember who it was now. And I don't know. Someone must have made that up. Because they just showed the list, and that person was not there with 40. Slap apparently also third best season for a teenager in the NHL for a player from Europe. So um, that's he's in good company, and uh, he's only going to get better. I mean, slapper from the point and a glove saved by Anderson. Is it Anderson? No, it's Kochkov. I wonder why it's not Anderson. That puck did not come out. No way. I don't think that puck came out. I don't think so. Shots are now 5-4. For Carolina, still no score, and we are all, I mean, we're 30 seconds away from the halfway point of the period. Pesci sends it all the way in. There's no icing. I guess it hit something or someone. Uh, let's see. Jack, I just took it away. Um, who's got it? Jack, I again. Uh, to, uh, I think that was uh, Savard. Savard up. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not I'm back. Ah. Sometimes you just, I can't keep up with the play. I mean, more than just sometimes. <laughs> um, what's his name? Matt, keep me up to date. Uh, Minnesota and BU, uh, two two. Macklin just scored. Um. I think BU is Fowler. Where no Macklin just scored. No, okay, that's where Hudson's playing, and they're playing Minnesota. Yeah, that's it. Uh, playoffs, the um, the uh, the Big East playoffs. If if uh, Hudson's team loses tonight, by the way, if they lose tonight, I believe he can sign. Because then they're, they're done. I think that's what it is. I'm not 100% sure. I think I read that today or yesterday. Oh, Joe, sorry. <laughs> they're talking about the Jets. What? They have the Jets game? Where are you watching it on? I'm watching it on TV, so there's no mistake on this one. A little lull in the excitement here. As Carolina sort of gets a chance, broken up by Montreal. Here they come back the other way. Suzuki to Caulfield broken up. Carolina comes back. Uh, hell of a shot there by a guy. That was no shot. Ooh, ooh, chance here, chance here. Still moving it around. Nice play by Matheson to disrupt the guy and get the puck away from him. Nice little move there by Slaff when he took the puck back. Here comes Harris. Uh, his little pass, backhand pass, got sort of disrupted. Newhook sends it in. Uh, intercepted by Kane. He gets it out to the blue line. They're over that. Uh, bad angle shot on Monty. Makes a save and hangs on. We'll have a face off there. Permission to come aboard, sir. Where? I don't want you to come anywhere. Keep it in your pants, Captain Kirk. 
How's it going there, Mister uh, Guy Jim Kirk? Well, we know we know what you're all about. Keep it in your pants and don't come anywhere on board, eh? It's on the official NHL TV app, and you got the wrong game. Nice. Uh, just as good as the Sportsnet here for different reasons, though. Starfleet etiquette. Yeah, okay. Come aboard. Just like I said, don't come aboard. So I'm saying. Get the NHL app. You never know what team you're going to watch. The Roulette Wheel of Games. It was via Sportsnet? Well, that answers the question of the, what the problem was. I'm lucky enough to get it on TV tonight, so I don't have to use Sportsnet tonight. It's, it's just, I don't know. It's constantly like uh, these days, the video and the audio are off. And it's happening a lot. And I don't really notice it until like there's a whistle. You hear it, and then the place, and then you see the ref blow the whistle. Oh, God. Or they're talking, and they're showing them on camera talking, and they're talking, and it's happening, you know, the voice coming after or before. Ugh, I hate sports. Or it buffers, just starts buffering. Or in the middle of the game, they ask me to, uh, to log in again. Yeah. Sportsnet sucks. We're back underway. 7.15 left in the first. Shots are 7-3 to three for Carolina. No score, though. Oh, that was close. Good good ref reflexes there. Monty makes a save. <clears throat> Face off is to the right of Monty. Evans taking the draw for Montreal. KK for the Canes. He gets tossed. Oh, maybe it wasn't uh, KK. It was 92, not 82. Maybe. Because Kiki's on the fourth line. These guys, I don't think, are fourth liners. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Come on, boys. We need some some sustained pressure in their zone. We need that. We need it. Nice little move there by um, uh, New Hook. And then a bouncing puck literally bounced up off the – and he swatted it at the goalie, but um, Kachikov made a save. I mean, he, I guess he he happened to swat it right at Kochenkov, but still, good work there by uh, Newhook, and good hand-eye coordination, I think. Six and a half minutes to go here in the first. No score in the game. Mm Harvey Pinard dumps it in. And he did it a little too early, and it's icing. Harvey Pinard took a dump, and they turned it into icing. Face off is to the uh, right of Monty.
Flip to center by Jack Eye. Ullinen gets in there quickly to get that puck. Andy after it. They're in this, the uh, cane zone. Shit, who's that backhander by somebody? <laughs> Kovacevic. It's, uh, let's see, Andy again tries to throw it behind the net. He does to the other side. And Kovacevic tries to send it back the other way. It gets stopped at the side of the net. And Canes are going to clear it. No icing. It should have been icing. I guess it'll bounce off the back of the boards and came up. Still, I think that should have been. Must have hit somebody. Under five to go in the first. Shots are only eight to three. Carolina up on that and no score. Ooh, dangerous there. I don't know who that was, but one-handed. Tried to put the puck past Monty. Harris has the line, sends it in, doesn't get through. And that's going to be an icing call against Carolina. So not a bad first period so far. We're almost done. 4.16 left in the first. Face off to the right of Kochet Cup. Won by Carolina. Um, they get it out just out. And have, yeah, they finally Armia to Harris. Harris over the line, sends it into the corner. Ooh, Army almost stole that away. Puck rings around, comes out. Matheson tries to make a backhand pass and gives it away. They have it in their own end. They get it out. A uh, new hook. That's new hook over the blue line. Back to Gallagher. Gallagher tries to feed Army in the very high slot. Oh, oh, who's that? Is that Galley? Galley almost gets it in there. Doesn't get through. Goes around the net. And they get it out to the red line. Picked up there by Armia. He skates to the uh, bench. Struble with it in front of his net. Oh, 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 oh. Almost, and get, it kind of did give it away. Yeah. It didn't end up being uh, as bad as it could have been. And Montreal, Caulfield over to, I don't know, Slav has it now over to blue line. Stops at the half wall. Turns. What was that, Slav? I don't know if he lost something. Like, he was going to take a shot, and then he just, like, I don't know what that was, into the corner. That was weird. Must have lost the grip on the stick, something. Come on, boys, get that puck. Broken stick, slap shot attempt from the point. Kane still controlling it in the half zone. All right. 
right, Montreal clears that. I don't know who cleared it. No icing. Comes Kings the other way. Nice puck knocked away by somebody. That was Jack Eye. It's a good puck knock. Jack Eye with it behind his own net. He dishes it off to, looks like Ulan in. Ulan fires it in. Where's that butt? Oh, Kane's in. Oh, oh. Scoring chance, but the guy fired it wide on Monty. Kane still. No. Do they have possession? No. Pulling it over his, over his line. Sends it in. Goes behind the net. Goalie stops it. Here come the Kings. Oh, I didn't. Was that? I didn't see that exactly. Shot at the goalie. Uh, Kachikov made a save. We'll have a face off in front of Kachikov. They're going to show it so I can see what happened there that I didn't see. Oh, that was a shot off the post there on Monty. I didn't see that. Svechnikov. Okay, don't show the one at the other end. I don't know. Period is over. No score after one. Um, you know what? Good first period by Montreal. They gave up some chances, yes, but nothing overtly dangerous. And, you know, considering Gouli out, um, I thought that was a good period by Montreal to keep Carolina off the board, number one. And uh, they almost scored a couple times on their own. I am about 30 seconds ahead of you. Uh, well, I should be. I'm watching it directly over the air. So I shouldn't have um, much delay, if any, the way I'm watching it. So I'm not getting it from the satellite. I don't believe anyway. I mean, I'm using an antenna out the window. All right, so uh, you people in the chat, what did you think? What did you think of the first period? Jim Kirk says Mario Armia with the moves. Um, no, I mean, I don't think we're seeing Mario Armia tonight. We're just seeing what has become back to the regular Yoel Armia. But if we do get to see Mario Armia tonight, uh, that would be good. But I would not say that's Mario Armia out there right now. Not that he's playing bad or anything, but I'm just saying, you know, it's not. All right, so what are we going to talk about? We got a whole intermission. No half orders of intermission tonight. Whole intermissions only. Um, I'm, I'm, I, I gave you my opinion of the first period. How about y'all give uh, your opinions of the first period? And remember, after the game is over, there's going to be an exam. All right. Crickets. It's got to be because there's some sort of delay. All right. What are we going to talk about? Let's see. I'll come up with something. Uh, oh, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow is Sunday. Not nothing going on tomorrow. I get a kind of a day off tomorrow. I will do work behind the scenes work, may even put a video out tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> I'm just about finished a, um, a, a poem. I haven't written a poem in a while. 
Um, so I'm going to work on that. Uh, let's see. What else should I got to do? Uh, Monday, 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 Monday. We have not been canceled on yet. Uh, Monday, we are doing uh, the uh, Pucking Around podcast. Hopefully, it will be on both channels because Matt's going to get his StreamYard account going. And uh, we're going to have um, – what we're doing is a special um, podcast watch party thing. It's Islanders and Flyers playing tomorrow, and we're going to have Isles Girl. Isles Girl. Kim is supposed to be on the show tomorrow. Um, so uh, please check that out. Uh, it'll either be here – and on Don't Puck With Media, or it'll just be on Don't Puck With Media if Matt doesn't get that StreamYard account going, which could be, could it could be. But if he does, we'll be able to stream on both uh, channels. Legally this time, not what got us in trouble. Um, yeah, Jim Girk, it was a, it was a decent period by Montreal. The, I agree. The fact that they're not, even if it's one loving, they're not, you know, we're tied with them. No score is, uh, is good for Montreal. Jack, I hit Gensel late. He went crying to the ref and the ref came to the Habs bench to talk with Jack, I and tell him, don't do that again. American teams can do that. Habs get a finger if they do. Um, did he have Gensel and bring him by the hand to go over? Did you do this guy? No, he didn't do that while he's holding his hand. Ref is his dad? I don't think so. Hey, who's who? Have a good night, buddy. I charge my cell phone while it's on, though, but I'm just saying. They're showing the Ottawa Winnipeg game. Is this today? I imagine Ottawa is trying to play spoilers like Montreal. Although, in this case, with the Hurricanes, what can they spoil? They can potentially spoil them from being President's Trophy winners, which if they want to win a Stanley Cup, that might be a good thing for the Canes if they do that. And maybe they can spoil them by not, you know, by not spoiling them from being. <laughs> uh, yeah, the President Trophy winner doesn't have a great record in the Stanley Cup. I didn't see the hit. Mm -hmm. Oh, I missed. How did I miss two scores? Lane Hudson uh, scores 4 3 Terriers. They're probably going to win that game. And advance, so uh, Hudson will not be signing. Uh, if Hudson's team wins tonight, we don't see Hudson till maybe the last two games of the season. So, what are you going to do? And by the way, if you see the rumors out there, because uh, Lego Rocks put out a video, stupid clickbait bullshit video, about Montreal potentially uh, trading Caulfield. Um, to whoever has the first overall pick, um, for for so Caulfield and a first round pick for um, the first overall pick. Yeah, I don't think so. And then there's one about trading Jack Guy. It's it's bullshit. Bullshit, bullshit. Freaking videos, ridiculous rumors, and he's making videos of ridiculous rumors. That's called clickbait, and not the good kind. Are the Devils beating the Leafs? 
Um, and does anybody out there know? I've got conflicting reports. Uh, Mitch Marner, is he on LTIR or is he about to rejoin the Leafs from injury? Anybody know? I saw a little, uh, you know, one of those pregame kind of things there. And uh, he was saying that he's happy to be back and back with the boys. And then Matt's telling me he's on LTIR. Uh, there you go, Jim. Uh, you know, Legorock's a decent guy. He was a big supporter of the channel in the first, I'd say, year or so. Uh, but he does a lot of clickbait. I just don't, it's not a good look. Hey there, Paul. What the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? What are you talking about? It's no score after one. Not much going on if you go by a score. Why did Sean? Oh, is that tonight? Leafs in Buffalo? You see, let's see. Saw about 10 minutes, but you had to eat your baked beans with ham. Now, if you had baked beans without ham, would you have been able to see the game? Just curious. Uh, Joe said she saw the report on MSN Marner on LTIR. Well, uh, isn't that good news for the Leafs? I love it. Love it. I'm even on the play with you. Yeah, I'm watching it on City TV tonight. Other news source. Well, I, I just saw this uh, thing on um, on Twitter. They were asking him about something, and in it he said, and it's something I read about uh, either this morning or yesterday, so there could have been something from yesterday. Uh, but he said he's happy to be back with the boys and all. I figured he's coming back. Uh, Jim Kirk, that was not in doubt anyway. Another first round exit for the Leafs, but this just sort of just cements it a little more. Uh, let's see, you are what did you say? You were 69 years old and you had six beers and four Caesars. Yikes, someone's a little tipsy. Now, listen, I believe you. It's not that I don't believe. I'm just saying I got conflicting reports. So if more people are going to tell me he's on LTIR, then I'm going to definitely believe he's on LTIR. Not that I thought Matt was lying to me or anything. So, so far, so good tonight. What, do we, what else are we going to talk about here? Let's keep people entertained. Marner saying he's back with the boys just means he's back on Grinder. <laughs> Swipe right. or I don't know which one you do to, to, to for the positive. If it's left or right, whichever it is, swipe that way, boys. Marner, look at for action. We're not saying Marner's gay. I don't. I. It's just a joke. If he is, his business, not mine. Uh, Paul, did you know what they lost their last game? So did you know that they are nine? I got to hear nine, two, and one in their last ten, but they lost. Or they only have a, they're on a one game streak. Yeah, they only won their last something like that. But no, they they didn't they didn't win nine in a row. As a matter of fact, in their last ten games, they are seven two and one. So how can they be nine one and two? They're nine one and two since the deadline. Yeah, so they're seven two and one in their last ten, and if they're nine two and one in their last twelve. 
You know what? Facts is important, people. <laughs> get it right or get out of here, man. Gary Bettman. Somebody's calling for Gary Bettman's uh, removal, or not removal, resignation. I think it's Alan Walsh, the uh, the agent on Twitter said he uh, it's time for Gary uh, Gary Bettman to resign. He's he's asked, he's done something to ask. I don't know something. Good reporting, isn't that great reporting, Rick? Warming up in Montreal yet? Uh, you're the great Jim Kirk, man. You can just fly here in like two seconds at warp five. Uh, yeah, it is actually. Uh, well, you know, for someone who just said, I'm just challenging you here, and I don't got to check nothing because I already did that, uh, but Eight in a row for the Canes, not nine, my friend. Eight. Or unless all of my information is wrong. Warp drive is inoperative. Well, I bet you on the uh, what do they call those engines there that they that goes pretty fast too. You probably be here in no time. Not a maybe, dude. I'm always right. Except when I'm wrong, I'm always right. Win an NHL game and two hundred fifty thousand. Oh, oh, this place there won two hundred fifty thousand. I thought I get a chance to do that. No, dang it. That's it. Impulse power on impulse power. You could probably get her pretty quickly. So I expect to see you in uh, any minute now. Paul, um, what am I got tonight? No, I'm not very. It's it's yeah, so so tonight. Just trying to get rid of some garbage I bought. Didn't know it was going to be garbage. It just it happens every now and then. I buy mine online. Online, my friends. Okay, what else? We must be getting through this uh, this, this here, uh, in, in intermission. Oh, that's what it's called. Must be getting through it. Every time I think there's like five or ten minutes left, they come back next commercial and they're back on the ice. Am I a TOS? TOS is the original series. Uh, sure, I saw every episode uh, many times probably. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm a Star Trek fan. I, I mean, overall in all the series, I prefer uh, um, Next Generation. But I, I, I did watch all the, the original series. They had to wait on NHL Network before they can cut into the Habs game? That sounds really stupid. Yeah. It's really kind of stupid. If you're turning, tuning in for the Habs game, you don't want to see the Jets game. Let's put me to work. Yeah, before the game, this, the, uh, game gets back. 
I, my guess is we got about five minutes left before they get back, but as I stated, I'm usually wrong. Well, let's go with this. Uh, predictions for the second. Anybody got predictions for the second? Um, it would seem when Habs are not having a great night or against a team that gives them a lot of trouble like Carolina always does, second period could be a nightmare. It hasn't been lately, though. Not in the last, I don't know how many games, a few games, right? It hasn't been. So let's see if they can keep that streak going because – it could the game could be over in the second, considering it's the Canes. Jim Kirk says one goal in the second, Hurricanes goal. Joe says Slaffer Galley opened the scoring in the second. You can go with 4-1 Canes. I know you didn't get to pick. You're late. Yes, of course you are late. Uh, start of the second. You're late. It's okay. I mean, bragging rights, if you do get it, you can still brag and say you got it because there's no score yet. Yeah, we are underway. I've actually got uh, 20 seconds gone right now in the second. Shots are 8-8, eight eight, no score. I like the way Jack I just pushed that guy right off the puck. Just pushed him. Peanut, not now. Oh, yeah? Jeez, that puck just never came out. Just went right along the line. Oh, well, that was in the, uh, okay, the uh, cane zone, so whatever. Never mind. Shot at Monty. Save with the glove. We got a phase up coming up. Hey, look, Jesus playing hockey. Was that, what's his name? Jesus Chatfield. Look at that. I think his name is Jordan Chadfield. So if it is, it is JC. And if, if, if that is what Jesus kind of would have looked like, the right color skin, kind of hair we're used to, except black. Oh, Slaff came close there, all alone in the slot, save Kachikov. Paul, he's in the Newfoundland in the sky. The SS Newfoundland. Yeah, the, he, that, he just pushed the guy right into onto the ice. Just, hey, there you go. Have a seat. It's kind of what I saw anyway. Almost two minutes into the second. Shots are 9 9 now. Yeah, comes into the room to eat. There's food in the kitchen for the cat, but he had to come all the way over here to eat because that's they like my bowl better. You can't hear that, but it's, I hear it. Here come the Habs. Come on, Suzuki. Coffee with it. Gives it over to, I don't know who that is. And puck comes out.
New hook over the line. Drops it for Armia. Armia goes cross ice, but missed Struble completely. Armia with it again. Up to a new hook back to Armia. Gets knocked away. Who's that with it? Kovacevic. Tries to get it to someone at the blue line there. Gets away. The uh, goalie sends it back the other way. Habs keep it in. Uh, are they calling that an offside, though? It didn't look like it was offside. They're showing his numbers, like his, not just goal scoring numbers. And, you know, they're better all around. And Co that's Caulfield, I should be telling you. And is Caulfield just his overall game is that much better. So when he gets back to the goal scoring pace that we usually figure he should be at, his overall game is going to be so much better. Uh, it's going to be crazy how good that first line is going to be. My own private Idaho. You're in the army now. Not in the army. It's Jim Kirk. He's a, he's an admiral in the uh, in the Space Navy. Part of Space Force. Uh, very uh, nothing much happening in this period so far. I think for Montreal, if that whole if the whole barrier goes well, not much happened there. That'd be good for them. <clears throat> oh. Ooh, good thing that pass didn't get to that guy. It's still not much happening five minutes in. Did I know the Canes are... Who picking them? Everybody that... Everybody is picking the Canes to win? Absolutely every... Who's picking them? Not saying that, you know... Um, they're right up there in points and uh, in the race for their uh, president's trophy. But who's picking them? Because that's like pretty cross the board statement there. I ain't picking them. So right away, you're wrong because no. No, you didn't say everybody, but who's picking them? The NHL snoops, the smart people. And if they don't win the cup, are they still the smart people? Monty would have saved. He bobbled it for a second and covered it up. You're picking Boston. I originally had uh, New Jersey. That's how much I know. Boston not playing well. And uh, the, his, the coach even says they're not, they don't look like they're ready for the playoffs. They're not playing like it anyway. So unless Boston gets Toronto, they might not go far again. Let's move their coffee out. Nice pass that I don't know who was missed it too bad. 
Well, penalty coming up to Montreal. For interference. Well, show me the interference. I didn't see interference. You showed that, but didn't show the interference. Show the interference. Did they cut to commercial? I would not want Vancouver to win it. I don't want a Canadian team winning it until Montreal does. There you go. I'm selfish. Okay, but uh, Paul, you pick Boston, but now you're saying they're sandbagging. Which one is it? Why are you picking a team that's sandbagging? I'm selfish. I want the Habs to win it. No other Canadian team is allowed until Montreal does. Once Montreal gets the next cup in Canada, any other Canadian team can get it after. That's my rules. Don't break my rules. Yeah, we just beat the Flyers. So there's that. Stupid commercials. Come on, let's go. We're back. Interference, Suzuki. Let me see it. Sure, I'm sure it is. The guy pulls Suzuki's stick away like that, but that's not a call. And where was the interference on Suzuki? I want to know what he did. That's interference. Fucking refs, man. Refs got together and said, let's see if we can give a penalty here. So then we're going to push it towards the Carolina Hurricanes. Where's the money on? On Carolina? Yeah, let's push the game to them. Shots are 10 10. No score yet. Oh, Monty, Monty kept that out. I don't know how. Didn't even know where it was. <laughs> Jesus. Good, good saves there, Monty. Sandbagging means losing on purpose, if I'm correct. That's all it means. If you look up that term in the hockey dictionary, it doesn't have all that. It just means trying to lose the game on purpose. Like tanking, sandbagging, very similar if I'm correct. Because there's no way sandbagging is that specific that it's only so they don't get first place. If you're saying that's the reason they're losing on purpose, okay, but that's not sandbagging. I mean, that's not, you know what I mean. But, you know, again, it's teams don't lose on purpose for any reason. 
unless they're bought and paid for. Kovacevic with a point blank shot right into the goalie, unfortunately. That puck went out, and we might have a penalty, or it just said it went out and the play has to stop. Is it delay a game? Yes, delay a game uh, for the puck going out without touching the glass. Montreal on the power play this time, but they got the number one uh, PK in the league, so don't know what we're going to do here. Kuznetsov, delay of game. Habs first power play. Only given because, well, we had no choice on that one. Says the refs. Shorthanded a little attempt there. Didn't do much. Oh, nice little move by Cavio. Ah, they couldn't get anything with that. What the hell is that? Pesci just knocks the uh, slab down. There better be another power play. They're going to allow that. Oh, because he he tried to get the puck and hit the goalie's pads. Still, Pesci's not allowed to do that. Apparently, he is. Apparently, he is. Apparently, you can just go up to a guy and just knock him out. Yeah, apparently, that's okay. Punch him in the shoulder, knock him down. No problem. Not roughing. Why would that be roughing? And if you interview the ref, you go, oh, well, we didn't see it. Fuck you, you didn't see it. Surprised they didn't call Suzuki there. That could have been called a pick. Oh, bad giveaway. Breakaway. And a score. one nothing, Carolina. Jordan Stahl. Bad giveaway. I mean, except why wasn't Montreal up two two men? Like, uh, why wasn't it a five on three? That wouldn't have happened if it was a five on three. I mean, Monty should have had that. I mean, that's just all there is to it. Slashing is a one no slashing when you're on the bench when you you're on the bench and you slash a guy that's on the ice you, yeah because that's not allowed come on so a shorthanded goal for Carolina not a good look listen Carolina has a a really good PK number one in the league so there you you just saw why. What that's icing on the power play? 
If that's not a bullshit whistle, then whoever did that just get their asses kicked. Ice it on a goddamn power play, man. Know where the hell you are on the ice before you do that. Anyways, the penalty's over. Net came off. And they'll go for a commercial break. Why not? <sighs> and it's only one nothing. It's not not the end of the world if it stays there. Or Montreal gets a goal to get it back to even. All right, so while we uh, uh, wait through these uh, stupid commercials, because they are pretty stupid, mm, I, I got nothing to say. You? Anyways, we got away with one. I believe Nick Suzuki, that was a pick he got away with. Looked like it to me. Where's my cat? My cat does what he wants. <laughs> He's somewhere. You heard him. He's somewhere around. He's not in the room now, I don't think, though. Just came in to eat. Because, you know, can't eat what's in the kitchen. That bowl's not good enough for him. Anybody else out there? Shit, a lot of people left. Why would people leave? <laughs> uh, well, I have one of each there, uh, Paul. So my dog is going. She's going. Uh, what? She's going fine. She's she's at my feet here. Yep. Well, sort of at my feet. Almost right at my feet. But under my desk where she almost always is when I'm at my desk. She had a haircut. Not so much on the face, a little bit, but she had a body trim because her fur was way her hair was way too long from the winter and it's warmer, so yeah. What kind of dog is she? She's a mix. Mostly, um, shit. Yeah, that's it, actually. That reminded me. Uh, mostly a Shih Tzu. Shih Tzu, Chihuahua, Pug, and uh, a, a mystery dog. They don't know the fourth. We got 8.30 almost left in the second period. Now, one nothing Carolina. Shots are 14-13 for Montreal. Armia went for a dive. Uh,
there's a big one timer from bottom of the right circle. Monty made the save though. Seven fifteen left in the first, second, second. A bit so. Yeah, no, it's a that's not what we call them here anyway. A mix. A mixed dog. That was like a knuckleball, a high knuckleball on Monty. Puck goes out. Very slow part here of the second period. They just puck goes out, whistle, 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 puck goes out. Chancer for Suzuki. Come on, boys. Let's get this tied up before the period's over. Damn, Caulfield just couldn't get a stick free. Slap with a shot right in the back of whoever that was standing there. Goalie equipment repair. I guess the snap came off. You forgot to tell me the ice is fast tonight? Yeah, I don't know. There's two, uh, the lights are too bright. I don't know how you can tell. At least on my screen, they're pretty bright. Uh, offside. Carolina goalies playing well. Come on, guys, make something happen. This has been a pretty boring second period. Just nothing really happening. And Andy breaking in, so nothing still happening. Like I say it. You're going to be grumpy from tomorrow till why no caffeine? Speaking of caffeine, sorry, Joe. Alan had a great game Tutter night. Yeah, Alan's been playing really well there uh, for the Devils. Sleep study on Tuesday afternoon. That's an odd afternoon. Doing a sleep study. Well, good luck with that. They pay you for that at least. And you get some sleep. 
I'm not a good sleeper, so doubt I'd do well at a sleep study. It would be a no sleep study. Unless they gave me some good drugs, that might help. Oh, excuse me. We could have sleep by yawn. I slept almost, it's almost two nights in a row here in my freaking chair. The other day, <laughs> I don't know why I didn't get into bed, but a lot of times I'll fall asleep a little bit in my chair. So I did that. I woke up. Oh, shit, I fell asleep. I look at the time, 7.01 a.m. It's like, I can't go to bed now. <laughs> uh, last night wasn't bad. It was 4. Went to bed at 4. But I slept here a little bit. <laughs> I hate that when I do that. At 7, I'm not going to go back to sleep. I usually get up around 7. In the summer when the sun's up early, I'm, I'm usually up by 7, a little after, a little before. That's why when you see, when I'm here doing this, it's a long day for me. By the time I get to here, we get to the end, it's still been a long day. Oh, well, there's a game. We're almost at five minutes left. Well, what happened there? Was, was Evans manhandled there? An icing call against uh, Kane's. Oh, for sleep apnea. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, good luck with that, uh, Joe. Again, I missed it. I saw the end. Of, did, no call, obviously. Two nothing Toronto over Buffalo. A lot of games tonight. My God. Here we got four oh five left in the second, one nothing Carolina. Montreal's up 20 to 16 on shots. Save Mata. Well, the face off in front of him. Coming up. 354 left in the second. If that was Jake Gensel they showed, he looks a little bit like uh, Kyle Connor in Winnipeg. So what constitutes holding then? Anything as long as it's not on Gallagher. If it's on Gallagher, not holding. Ah, uh, new hook. If only you got wood on that. Jesus. Someone needs to bury Joe Pesci over there. Yeah, someone needs to bury him in the ice. 
He gets a penalty this time, though. I mean, really? You got a penalty? Wow. Tripping. None of the other stuff he did was pe was a penalty, but that was. Legitimately. Oh, it was hooking. Yeah, I guess that was hooking. At least it was a penalty. Capitalize, boys. Capitalize. Ah, nice chance of a new hook. Minute uh, 35 left in the power play. No, don't give them another breakaway. Monty made the save. Two ten left in the second, only a minute uh, minute even left in the power play. Man, Carolina doesn't give you much on the power play. The PK unit is good. Uh, Wow, my signal down. My signal might be a little uh, not great. Uh, it'll come back, and it did. Kill this off. Oh well. Did not think this would be this low scoring so far. Minute, last minute of play in the second. You know what, overall? And then get it out of this, and it's just one nothing Carolina after uh, two. That's not too bad. Struble with a nice little steal there. Good block by Harris. Who was that? Oh, Ullinen. Good hit there by Struble. That was a good hit by Struble there. All right, so we've got 35 seconds left in the second now. Look at the puck there. No, no. Ah, man. Evans would have had a breakaway. Time ran out. All right, after two, it is one nothing. Uh, I am going to take just a minute to go to the little hockey player's room, and I will be right back.
All right, peoples, I'm back. That way I won't fidget so much <laughs> the last period. I didn't even hear this text. Matt just texting me all night long. He must be at the game. I don't know what's going on. He must be at that game. Uh, okay, wait. Okay, what is this? We caught up. You got me. Yeah, I had a lagging problem. This is a great game. Joe, you ever been to Canada? That's what I missed. All right. Um, second period was a little boring there. Not that much action. So, I mean, not that it's a bad game. Obviously, we're just down by one after two against a team that usually uh, seven out of the last eight games, they've gotten four or more goals against us. So still one period to go, but doesn't look like they're going to do that to us tonight. We'll have to see. Time will tell. But after it's like I said, one nothing after two. Um, what do you got? What do you all think with third period? I think the third's gonna be better than this period. Um, what game was it? In the last two games, they had a game like that. First and third periods were amazing. Second period was eh. uh no crappy penalties tonight. I said this going in, the refs. I actually have decent uh, – Montreal does decently with them. So either we were going to get, like, a bad game from them, a good game, or whatever, but they're still refs and they still suck. So far, so good, but third period is still out there. So they got time, man. They got time to be refs. We'll see how that goes. Anyways, if you're here, say hi. And if you said hi – Make a comment. Let me know what you thought about the second and what you think the third is going to be like. Uh, for myself, like I said, I think it'll be a better third where, uh, well, Montreal has to try to score a goal and uh, where it's sort of both teams. I mean, Carolina, um, you know, can't really sit on their haunches there and try to go into prevent defense. That's never good. So I don't expect them to do that. Um, I think both teams will be uh, – Wheeling it for a goal. Or we'll get more of this. Uh, yeah, there you go. Hey, Matt. Um, um, uh, 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 Lane Hudson and the Boston University Terriers have won their game. Lane will not be signing with Montreal immediately. Uh, they're going to be going to the Frozen Four. That is, I believe, on April 13. The earliest Lane Hudson can get here into a game is on the 15th and the 16th. The last two games of the season against Detroit, uh, home and a home and a home and a, a home and away series, uh, home and away games, uh, back to backs, obviously, and uh, that's it. That's the earliest we're going to see Lane Hudson. Oh, well, I mean, that's kind of, I mean, Matt and I talked about, did we talk about this on the uh, on the pod, Matt? I think so, right? Um, I mean, that's what we, that's the consensus we came to, really, is that he's not going to get here. The, okay, the final game is as the 13th, then. That's it. He, he'll be done with the Frozen Four at the latest, April 13th. That's the earliest he can sign with Montreal. Uh, expect that if he goes to that game, on the 14th, he'll have signed with Montreal, be with the team on the 15th. I want to say they are in Detroit, and then the next day in Montreal could be the other way around. That's my guess is that, um, yeah, he'll join them in, in Detroit for the second to last game of the season. Does he get into the game? I don't know. He'll get into one of those games, so uh, maybe it's just the last game of the season we see him. Um, and then again, maybe they say, listen, sign your ELC, and we'll see you next year, because they might not want to burn it uh, for a game or two. 
which means they got to pay him a whole year. It's burnt. They're only got two years left of him on the ELC. You know, with a game or two, does it? They've done it though. They've done it with other players, so no reason why they wouldn't with Lane Hudson. Six three for the Terriers. They took a bite out of Minnesota. Take a bite out of crime. Were you at? Uh, you, you were. Were you at the game? Or you just watched it instead of this one? What a poser Hab fan doesn't even watch the game. Just to let you all know, also, this is the, uh, let's see, after tonight, Saturday games, two more left. Just two more left. So two more uh, afternoon Saturday hockey talks and two more Saturday night games. And uh, then the season's going to be over after that. Um, it'll be Saturday and then a Monday, Tuesday game, and we're done. <sighs> That's February uh, 13 to 16. Oh, you're just watching it? So that's your excuse for not being here is that you were watching that game, eh? Which is fine because he would have just been here watching the game, looking down, and you'd just see the top of his head. Which, if you're thinking about Logan Mayu, that's basically what the picture that he gave to everybody looked like. But it wasn't Matt's head. It was somebody else's. What a segue. What a segue. Okay, what are we going to talk about? Come on, we got easily 10 minutes to go here before they come back for the third. I feel like I've done a lot of talking. All right, let's see what I got that I can... Uh, let me say something. I'm going to read two two verses of my poem. Not to start, but two verses in it. I'm going to read that to you, and hopefully you will uh, want to, um, want to uh, see the video when it comes out. Um, actually, it yeah, it's going to be two verses. Uh, uh, it's hard to pick where. All right. Remember, it's in the middle of the poem. It's just about this season. Uh, the season's coming to an end and kind of just stuff about, you know, from that. In saying this, the progress, man, how do some not see it? Marinaro screaming for them to lose. I get his point, albeit they've been where they are for quite some time. I don't think it will change. When you scream for the tank unmercilessly, you start to sound deranged. Like Alex Jones and the gay frogs, you really sound a fool. They're tanking quite organically. I'm good with that, aren't you? Fifth, sixth, or seventh at this year's draft, they're going to get a star. Add Lane, David, and Logan to the mix. They're going to go far. Yeah, that's all I'm going to read you. I'm almost finished that. I got a little bit more to write, but um, and hopefully I'll have that. I'm hoping to have it done tomorrow. I don't have much going on tomorrow. What do you think? You guys like that? That's the first like writing I've done in a while. But it's that season is coming up. Anyways, if you did like it, just send five dollars to. No. <laughs> Was anybody listening? Even I don't think anybody listened to that. Crickets. That's all I hear.
Okay, I'm going to do a dance then. How about I dance for y'all? I'm going to get up on my desk and I'm going to do a sexy dance. Said me never in my lifetime. Am I going to have a hockey pool for the playoffs? No, the fantasy pool finishes uh, by the time playoffs start. I wasn't really planning to. I mean, you know, it's it's a bit, it's not that it's like a great deal of work, but I mean, I got to put it all together and everything, and then nobody wants to be in it. You know, we've got only seven, and that's with me and Matt this year, and Harry in it. So that means only four people other than us wanted to be in the fantasy pool. So, I pr no, I don't think I'm going to do that. Where's Harry tonight? He's at home. It's not often Harry's on a game. Harry's probably watching the game with his dad. I know it was his mother's birthday last night. So that's why if you watch the trivia show, that's why Harry wasn't there. I forgot. He had told me and I forgot. <laughs> so um, I imagine, you know, doing family things. Uh, he'll be doing, I'm sure he's going to be doing his post game show after. So uh, as, as always, when I'm done mine, or if you don't like mine, go to Harry. Harry Rice Hockey. Harry does a post game show and uh, longer than I do. Um, and, uh, yeah, check him out, give him subscribe, stay there and watch it for a while. The guy needs some watch time hours. So if you really want to help Harry out, go check out some of his videos, give him a watch, give him some watch time hours. He needs this. Especially tonight, support indigenous people tonight of all nights. The Habs are. I am as best I can. You so should you. In doing that, go support Harry on his channel. I should get the check from Harry in the mail soon, I think he said. Thank you there, Paul. Appreciate that. Well, Harry's part of the Talking Habs family, part of the Don't Puck With Me family media family he's part of the he's part of our family so support him man support him. harry's channel you're gonna get all kinds of things there so you might find some very interesting stuff there that you didn't think that you know oh i didn't know harry does this or whatever check him out and like i said the dude really needs some watch time hours he still needs a few subs, but if he gets the watch time hours, he'll get the subs along the way. He's not that far away. And then he'll be able to get monetized. I'm just trying to get him monetized so he can earn a few bucks while he's doing the work he does. I'm trying to help him. Like I'm making it like I'm a big shot. I'm just trying to help him. I'm not getting him monetized. He gets himself. It's nine o'clock, and all is well. I'm supposed to take my meds now, but I'll take them in between shows. Jeez, we're down. After tonight, there's just nine games left. You know, it's really funny because this time of year, I'm always like, I think trepidatious is the right word. For the off season. what am I going to do? I've got no... It's like not having a net underneath me with the games gone because with the games, hell, I know my schedule. <laughs> I know what I'm going to be doing. I, I kind of like that. In the summer, it's like it's it's weird. This summer, though, we got, we're got we still doing the podcast all the way through the summer. We're going to be doing the Sin Bin. We're going to be doing a bunch of different things that I, don't, I, I didn't do before. So my summer will be a little bit more... Um, There'll be more of a safety net there, you know. But there'll be more videos. Um, I'm already trying to think of stuff. Um, <clears throat> once the season ends for the Habs, I mean, we've got the draft stuff, the lottery. We're going we're to do stuff like that. So, I mean, you know, you guys, if you guys are regulars, you know, I, I don't stop for the summer. Um, this summer I can walk again without a cane. Um, 
I'm going to try to get my gear that I used, and I did some walking videos. I want to do some walking videos. I'm going to do some, that's my plan, you know, when I find something I can talk about without having to read a script or anything. <laughs> uh, we're going to do that. I'm going to do that. And, uh, yeah, there's some plans for the summer. But like you, like I said, we stay active all year round. No, Paul, I'm good. I'm good. I got my schedule for hockey games. I mean, every now and then I'll forget, and it'll be like midnight, and I go, "Oh shit, I forgot to take them." That still, it's not a big deal. I just stay up a little later. That's all. Hence, now you know why I fall asleep in my chair. <laughs> it's because I'm dedicated and actually you know yesterday was partially that I was trying to my thumbnails tonight are not the greatest I couldn't come up with anything I liked anywhere I couldn't find anything I liked so I made something easy uh, but that took me a while and it kept me up a bit and uh, then I had to I, I uploaded the shows and all that so I was working and yes I am dedicated to this channel We must be getting, I would say, just minutes away from the start of the third by by now. I feel like I've been talking a lot. You know, and some nights it gets to the point where I literally get tired of my own voice that I'm talking so much, but I mean, I got to. So <laughs> I'm getting to that tonight, getting tired of hearing myself talk. It's like that when you work alone. It's a lot easier when somebody with me or we're doing a show with everybody. Don't have to talk so much. But then I got to put up with them darn kids, man. You pesky kids. Do, do, do. I think uh, I just chased somebody away. They said, I'm not watching this old guy. What the hell is this old guy doing on here, man? He's too old. Oh, look at that. I was right. We're underway for the third. Underway for the third. Uh, one down in Carolina. Shots are 22-19 for Montreal. 15 seconds into the third. Stoppage of play already. That's Carolina net. Not a goal, though. Nice shot there by Jack Eye. Nice shot. There will be a welt on his chest after this game. Shot Jack Eye. Oh, I thought that was gone in. Another one. Jack Eye throwing him at the net. And we'll get a nice and call against Carolina here. Well, uh, Paul, the ice, I mean, it's the beginning of the period. Of course, the ice is beautiful. And doesn't it look fast? Because it is at the beginning of the period. Unless it's a shitty arena or some of them are it's never fast. <clears throat> you wanna make sure your skates is sharp enough on ice like that, or you be sliding everywhere. These guys don't have to worry. I imagine they sharpen their skates pretty much every uh, intermission or so. Minute and a half in to the second. 
I don't, I don't know if the pace is any better. It looks like a little faster. Just a little, just a wee little bit. Icing against Carolina again. Montreal better. I think I got to push for a goal at some point. I know it's early in the period, but still. Jack Eye's numbers are much better as well after the All Star game. Basically, not long after he got back from the uh, AHL. Took him a few games. I don't know exactly how many, but he then he got his he got like I don't know something clicked, and uh, he was a lot better after that. And that was around the All Star break. Another icing against Carolina. Jeez, Caulfield almost got high stick by his own player. Yikes. Oh, wow. Bad giveaway. And then I don't know who the – I think it was uh, Ned Cash. He tries a little backhander side of the net, and Monty with the save. Come on, guys. What the hell? Defensive breakdowns there, man. Not good. Again, penalty coming up to Montreal. Hooking. Jordan Harris did not see it. It was Suzuki who uh, kind of gave it up there. Where's the hooking call? Where's the hooking call? That's the hooking call. I guess he got it in the hands. That's what they call. Oh, well. Bad penalty for, for Harris. Hopefully not too costly. I mean, they have the number one uh, PK, but they have also, I think that's a seventh overall, or third or seventh overall power play. It came in at 26.5%, something like that. There you go. They connect to nothing. Sebastian Asshole gets the second goal of the game. Yeah, not much Monty, uh, Monty could do about that. Not too much. Uh, well, nice game so far, and then they just scored their second goal, Carolina. But, I mean, overall... Uh, defensive breakdowns there, though, for uh, Montreal in the last, like, minute there. What the hell was the call? Offside, I guess. Four minutes into this third period.
Jarvis and Gensel with the assists. That line's been hot since they got Jarvis. Um, Gensel. I see. Nope. Stop by the goalie. We're five minutes in to the third. 24 20. Shots on goal. Favorite Montreal, but it's 2 0 Carolina. Marinara will be happy right now, yeah, if they lose the game, yeah. Game's not over. 14 minutes left. There's still time, but it doesn't look like we're going to get anything here. Go Slav. Look at him protect the damn puck, man. Oh, good save, Monty. Caulfield picks up the rebound. This period, though, who's that? A Aiken, I think Carolina's been a better team. Oh, good save there by Monty. That was that was close. You got there just in time. Andy with some speed, but nothing happens. Get a whistle for an offside. We're going to go for a commercial. Oh, shit. I didn't see how long is left. Commercial break around 12 minutes left in the. Oh, 12, 1203. Exactly. So, um, yeah, Montreal, I think, dare say they're going to get shut out here. Doesn't look like they're going to be able to score. Uh, again, they also they need two goals now, not just one. Uh, 
Uh, they're running out of time. I mean, 12 minutes left. Running out of time to get two. Doesn't mean they can't. Just getting close there. Gatorade. All right. Everybody's quiet. Shh. There's a hockey game on. Shh. <laughs> Go on, people. Oh, that's Gary Galley. God damn it. That John Bartlett is good. And then they got an asshole with him. Gary Galley. John Bartlett at John Bartlett and his asshole doing color. Eleven fifteen left. Still two not. Come on, Montreal. Let's not get shut out. Don't get shut out. Don't get shut out. Seriously though, I mean they're not playing with like uh, any urgency. That's something I'm surprised at here. You're down to nothing. It's under eleven to go. Get some urgency, some pace. Good keep there by Caulfield to Suzuki. Gets a shot away right on the goalie's chest. Ooh. Slap knocked one out of midair. Now they're starting to play with a little bit of that need to score a goal. Halfway through the period. Get a whistle right at the halfway point. It was like a knuckleballer from Nick as he was falling. Jeez, you guys are quiet now? Icing against Montreal.
Evans taking the draw. To realize I haven't seen KK out there since the first period. Oh, there he is. Speak of the devil. Took the draw there. Slaps all over. It's his birthday. He's playing, you know, he's playing an inspired game, but he's get yeah, he's getting a bit snake bitten tonight. But I mean he's ha I think he's having a good game overall. Also, I mean, it's a um, um, nine-game point streak, so imagine he's looking to extend it. Maybe that's not a good thing, though. Oh, no, that's a stupid show. All right. Nobody wants to talk to me. Uh, I don't know where to go with this. I don't know. Words, I'm lost for words tonight. Don't know why. Now, this is a lot of commercials, so screw off and get back to the goddamn game. Jesus. No goddamn time, and then they're still not right back to the game. And if they miss the face-off, I mean, that's ridiculous. It wouldn't be the first time. Guys, let's get something together. They're not going to score tonight. A lot of commercials I find tonight. I don't know why. That was tripping on Gallagher. That was tripping. That was tripping on Gallagher. This Gallagher doesn't count. Right there. They just showed it. That's tripping on Gallagher. No call. Or did they call it? They did call it. Look at that. They called it. No, oh, it's going to rain tomorrow. They're 0 for 2 so far tonight on the power play. Third time's a charm, hopefully.
Oh. Slap on a one-timer there. Canes clear it. Third again. Fifty seconds left on their power play. Seven minutes left in third, and possibly the game. When will Montreal pull the goalie? Another few minutes at the earliest, I would think. Jesus Christ. Carolina just keeps clearing it down. Twenty seconds left on the power play, and guess what? Clear down again. So that's probably pretty much going to just kill that off. That's dead. Yeah, power play's over. EBL. Nice. Here, it's not as great. It's 2 nothing, but... Two nothing in goals, not series. Ugh. Excuse me, getting near the end. Five minutes left. Monty. I mean, they can't really mount an attack for one. They're not going to get two. I always look tired, Bill. I'm good. Four minutes. You almost, you got to kind of figure they're going to pull Monty soon. If they get the opportunity, though, they're going to get the puck deep with possession. Right now, they got to get it out of their own zone. I'd give away, good save, Monty. Face off in front of Monty coming up. As this game is winding down and they're not going to score tonight. 
Unless they get a late one, but it doesn't look like they're going to. Commercial break. Why not? Right? Let's have a commercial break. They haven't had enough commercials. This tonight's been a lot of commercials. More than I it seems like more than I usually get. All right. Let's see what's coming up. Tomorrow, nothing. Hopefully a video, though, that, that poem video. Next week's games. We got the big uh, Puck Around podcast uh, on Monday. We should have our special guest, Isles Girl, supposed to be special guest. We're doing a sort of combination watch party and uh, podcast, Isles and Flyers game. That's on Puck, uh, Don't Puck With Media. Tuesday uh, is not Colorado, idiot. Uh, oh, Florida's in town Tuesday. So we got Florida and Tampa Tuesday and Thursday. That should be easy. And then Toronto on Saturday and the Rangers on Sunday. Anybody said Montreal is going to get six wins and four losses? Let him get through that week. It's going to be a tough week. Don't know if they'll get through it or not, but it's going to be a tough week. Well, they'll get through it. In what shape? I don't know. Don't show these goose. Get to the goddamn game. What's what's the delay? Come on, guys. Break the shutout. Ah. Two on one. Oh, yeah, it was an empty net. <laughs> Three nothing. Game is toast. The game is toast, my friends. Jarvis with the empty netter. God damn it. Still a couple of minutes left, too. Two forty eight. Uh, oh, well. Montreal going to get shut out 3 0. They have, if I'm correct, they haven't been shut out in a while. Seems like it hasn't been in a while. Well, that streak has come to an end. Okay, just stop blowing the whistle and let's get this over with already. Jesus Christ. Of course, we're going to have a whistle there. Of course. Well, of course, the goalie grabbed it. Andre knows not to have a state today. We went to see Ghostbusters because it didn't look like it was going to be our night. I don't know. Is that what you said? At least get one. Show us you care, boys. That was close. Monty makes the save there. I believe that was on a two-on-one.
They can't keep the puck in. Minute 40 left. Minute 20. I stayed till the last second. Shots on goal, 26 uh, 28 26, Carolina. Very tight. It was a good game. I mean, Kachkov was okay, but I don't think he was tested that badly. But whatever, he stopped them all. Good save there by Monty. Thirty five seconds. <clears throat> wow, they hit the post. That would have been four nothing. Caught Monty moving the other way. Just let time run out, you idiots. Four seconds left. Monty grabs a puck. Montreal bottom for a reason. Well, listen, everybody that would say tank, tank, or they're going to tank, they don't tank, and they're still where they are, right? So, you know, not their best night. And that's it. Game over. Game over. 3 nothing for Carolina. All right. Um, no time, Marie. Uh, so I'm going to head over to uh, Don't Puck With Media. That's our other channel. Link is in the description. I'm going to do the post-game breakdown over there uh, in about 10 minutes. So uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. I appreciate it. If you don't, come over there to join us. Have a great rest of the Saturday. And hopefully see you by on Tuesday or Monday for the, uh, for the uh, podcast, the special podcast with special guest Isles Girl. And uh, on Tuesday for um, uh, Florida, playing Florida. So that's it. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks for being here. Till next time, stay safe out there. Peace out. And uh, go Habs go. And we'll see you soon. Ciao, everybody.